Ashlyn Selvin alongside Tashawn Gibson at the Dreamfinders Homes Practice Complex. Tashawn, you called it a few weeks ago. You said you were going to get the first interception for this secondary. What was that like? Oh, it was awesome. Anytime you get your hands on the ball, it's always an exciting time. And, um, you know, like I said, I, I, I'm a competitor, true competitor. And, you know, we got a lot of competitors in the room. So I think that, that was just going to be the big deal, man. We want to see who want to get the, the first one. And obviously, I called my shot. I'm a confident <laughs> guy. And, uh, you know, fortunate, blessed enough to get that first pick. Obviously, against a great opponent. Um, fortunately, unfortunately, we can't wait with a loss. But, I mean, it's always good to get your hand on the ball, man, as a defensive back or any defensive player in the league. Did you keep the ball? Uh, of course I can. Okay. Man, you know, my son, that was one of the things that he knew that um, Patrick Mahone hadn't thrown any picks. And uh, he told me he wanted me to pick up my form. So when I caught it, man, he the first person that I thought about, man. I said, man, I got to get the ball to my son because I know he's going to be excited. So earlier this week, AJ Boye gave you some Jordans. I was told it was about a holding call. What was the story behind that? Yeah, uh, so New York Jets game, um, there was a play down the middle. I caught a pick. And, you know, the worst thing as a defensive player is to see is that yellow that yellow flag out there when, after a momentum change in play. And I seen it, they called the play back, and the first thing he came up to him, man, and he was a super apologetic, and like I told him, that's part of the game. We're family out here, it's gonna happen. Uh, of course, you know, I was bummed, and I was the first one of the season originally. Um, and, you know, being the type of guy that he is, he's a stand-up kind of guy, first thing he says, man, I want to get you something. He started asking me what shoes I like. I said, hey, man, you ain't got to buy me no shoes. I, and I was, in, I was persistent, like, don't buy me nothing, man. It's cool. It's part of the game, man. It's happened to me before. And, you know, next thing I know, man, he came up. He asked me my size. I ain't even tell him my size, so he just that type of guy. He found out what size I wore. Bought me some retro joints that I ain't never had, which is always cool, man. And that's just the type of guys, man. That's, that shows our type of relationship in the defensive back room, man. Not only are we we jail on the field, that's what everybody see, man. But when the door is closed, man, we like brothers. And, uh, you know, it's just a cool gesture, man. Like I said, I'm going to wear them just in honor for him Saturday before the game in Texas just because, man, I appreciate I appreciate the gesture, man, but like I told me, I didn't have to do it. So needless to say, you like the shoes. Needless to say, I love the shoes. How about that? <laughs> All right, you're going back home to Dallas this weekend. You're from there. You train there in the off season. Were you a Cowboys fan growing up? Absolutely. And, you know, I definitely was growing up, man. I, I was a Cowboys fan back in uh, the Quincy Carter days, man. A lot of people don't, a lot of people probably don't even know who that is. So, um, you know, definitely growing up every Sundays, man, I was Cowboys Sundays for us in the, in, in the household. So it's going to be definitely excited. I have a lot of family coming, and obviously a lot of them, they, they, they definitely have to wear the Jaguars gear they don't get tickets. But, you know, my whole family is Cowboys fans, so it's always exciting when you get to go back and play in front of the hometown. And just so happy, man, my hometown is America's team, so it's going to be a, an incredible atmosphere personally as well as for the team. I see on the Instagram stories that you're always at your son's Pop Warner games. Are you one of those dads that gets really, really into it because you play in the league? See, I, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing with me. I try to stay away from that. See, I don't want to be that overbearing dad that people say, hey, man, you play professional football, so you think that you're entitled to know a lot more about football than the average person. I don't want to be that guy, so I stay away from it. But make no mistake about it. Yes, I'm, 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 I'm so into it, man, like an NFL game, man. I be just as much into it because all the work that we put in, see, I push him and people laugh and they say, man, you be pushing your son. He got workouts in the summertime. Heels on Tuesdays and Thursdays, that is a must. So I wanted to reflect on the game. So, uh, man, it's always fun. He go out there, man, and, and seeing him go out there, is just it just brings joy to my life, man, being out there to see and be a proud father in those moments. But absolutely, I, like right now, while he's still young and I'm still playing, I, I, I kind of stay out. But when my career is over, I'm going to be that parent. You're going to be that me. dad? I'm going to be that parent. I can, <laughs> I can guarantee that. Awesome. Thank you, Deshaun. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me.